everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. Let's get it. Not just as runners, but guys... There's Newton now on second down. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. I like it. Good play. Good play. Now a play fake here on first down. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Seven acres. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. From the 50, Newton. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, come on. You got to get there. Ooh, shoot. Pay for that hit. Jacksonville and a first down as well. You got paid for that, brother. Pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. This is Freeman on first and ten. Nice little methodical drive. That route is not called if you don't have a guy who can a run game coming. Most likely. Because if you got a lollipop it in the middle of the field. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, come on, man. This game right here, bro. Wow. Just lobs it up. Fumbles. Then recovered by his own team in the end zone. Come on, man. It's going to be one of those games we see. the 20 to the 23 yard line one of those games oh, let's get some going huh? Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and 10 at their own 23 They'll throw on first down with Ryan. It's complete to Brown, right side. And he'll go out of bounds across the 35-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now the first carry for the show in the court. He'll take this up to about the 37. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On the crossing route, complete. It's Brown. Give him 10 yards there as Let's go, y'all. This drive continues to plunge forward. Good dot, Matty Ice. Good dot. I see you, Big Lorenzo. Twelve more yards there and another first down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. So in Jacksonville territory now. Here's a first and ten at the 42-yard line. Now Ryan on first down. He's going deep for Brown. Come on. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Hmm. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again on second and ten. It's Ryan. And he's going to drop this off to Williams. Oh, boy. 
Hurdling. Let's get it. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Ryan. Oh, that's nice, bro. That's nice. It's intercepted. Picked up by the Pro Bowler, Anthony Barr, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. No, so what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. The Jags offense yeah, now gets set yeah, and heads back it. onto the field. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early. Mm. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. It all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Why like somebody got a little nervous back there? So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Freeman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. <laughs> Newton on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. And it is true, you can draft the fastest, you can draft the most athletic guys, but if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though, falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Second and ten, Newton again. Dancing to his left. Come on, man. Losers right there. There are a good number of coaches at any time they call an in route are really worried about the play because there's so much traffic ordinarily that the ball has to get through to get to the receiver. And on that play, it was batted down. Throwing his Newton. Oh. And he couldn't Go. Go. Incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They will go for it. Now Newton. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Like that. Oh, come on. We've got these big linemen. Oh. We know about PA crossing. Right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Know about PA crossing, bro. Hey, hey, After the interception, here's Ryan. He's got his running back, LaShawn McCoy. Oh, shady. He goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones down. Let's go, Shady! Let's go, boy! They think they're going to win those, too. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. A first chance in the red zone for the Falcons now. They've got a first and goal to go at the seven. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Okay. 
It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but it must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. On second down, Ryan. His pass caught. Go, oh, Ingram. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, ah, Atlanta. Ah, ah, ah. From six yards away. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Dawson tacks on the point after, and we are tied at seven. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And here's Lewis. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back to Heinz Field after this. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now sounds like Give me that! This is intercepted. Let's go! By the free safety, Eric Berry. E B. Uh oh, hit on him. Get on him.